Director number 35, Brayley Lovelace. And we'll open up for questions. Brayley, I just asked Coach about this, but what's your thoughts on it too with that, the banning of the hip drop of the NFL? Do you, do you have any thoughts about it or if, if that kind of affects the way that you approach tackling in a general sense? Uh, man, not really. You know, if it's like an a angle tackle, I usually just like dive through their hip board. So it won't really affect me, but I know like some kids on the team are big like hip droppers, you know, but at the end of the day, it's just trying to keep the players healthy. So, so. How, does a, how does a tackler get an advantage by doing that kind of thing? Like there, there's obvious reason why they're outlawed as the NFL. Is there a reason why you think? Uh, honestly, I have no idea. Really. Yeah. What was, what was you guys did well Saturday in the scrimmage? What, what led you guys win, win in the scrimmage? Well, I think really like as a defense, you know, we were really playing downhill. You know, we were attacking the ball. You know, if the ball was in the air, we were saying it was ours, you know. So, and there was a big, a lot of passes, <laughs> you know, not very much run, but you know, every time the ball was in the air, our DBs were going to get it. And every time they put the ball on the ground, we were, you know, trying to get a forced fumble and everything. So, we were really creating a lot of turnovers. Everybody was getting downhill and everybody was doing it. What do you feel like you did well individually? So. Individually, it's really just, you know, I'm playing in a spot I've never, I played in high school, but like never at this level. So really just, you know, playing that new spot, getting downhill, you know, Manny, Manny likes to yell at me because I cross over on every motion. So like, you know, I'll fix that, shuffle, you know, really just playing downhill, attacking the ball, not stuttering my feet on a, a, on a tackle, just running through and taking my shots. That was the mic spot? Yes, sir. How how is you how is the game slowed down for you so far? I mean, being at the mic, you gotta not only play fast, but you gotta coordinate uh, the people you're off the quarterback, the defense. How have you seen things get easier for you at least in, in some of these practices? Really, it's just watching a lot of film. You know, I uh, being with Manny in the film room, it makes it a lot easier. You know, he's navigating me through like the running backs here. You know, a lot of tendencies go into like what I think in my head, and also. I called Sebastian Dennis the other day, you know, and he gave me a whole like note sheet of like what he he would look at, you know, what he still looks to this day, you know, in the NFL. So that really helped me a lot to slow the game down. And think. What was that conversation like? And have you guys you guys talk often? I guess we talk we talk every once in a while, you know. But uh, it, was, it was actually a really good conversation. It was one Saturday I was just sitting here watching film, and I was actually watching his reps from his senior year, you know, just trying to navigate what he's done because obviously he, he's great at what he does and you know I called him well I texted him at first and then he called me and we just went through like you know a couple of his reps and he said like what he was thinking like what he was anticipating because of how much film he watched you know he told me to do a lot of like formation recognition you know like pick up on a lot of their like O-line tendencies running back tendencies and stuff like that you know to really slow down the game so you know what's going on before everybody else knows. You can hear from coaches but what's the value to you to hear that from someone like him? Uh, it's actually, it's, you know, he's he's like one of my favorite players to watch. So to hear that from a guy that I, you know, that's like a role model to me, is very good. Really, obviously last year you got a lot of stars. What playing time is your question for me coming into to a practice this year? How has your mind changed going into a practice overall game routine? Uh, really, you know, it's like, Last year, I was just trying to prove to them that, you know, I could play as a true freshman, and now, you know, I'm trying to prove myself as a, as a starter, you know, not so much as a rotate guy. So, really, I'm just, every practice, keep my head down, stacking each day, you know, just trying to be better each day. Do you like the thinking part of the playing the goal linebacker? All the intellectual things you have to be good at through? Yeah, definitely, because, you know, in <laughs> high school, I was really just playing football, you know, not too much thinking about what was going on. And to now to really see, like, what really goes into the game, you know, really think of like the mind of a defense coordinator also an offense coordinator you know it's great because like I watch football now and I can see like oh well, I see why they did that or I see why he did this you know things like that so it just it's honestly very helpful. How was Brandon like than, than like a guy who's been here forever and been that guy? Uh, really he, he took me under his wing like as soon as I got here you know when I first got here it was like every day it was me and him in the film room you know going over formations, going over plays and stuff like that. You know, he's a he's a really great guy to be behind. You know, he's always got a smile on his face and he's always trying to help everybody. You know, even with uh, Jeremiah being a new guy, you know what I'm saying? He's always he's always there to help. He's always one call away. I know you get to see them in practice often, but when you're facing 
an offense that's learning a new system. Does that present a unique challenge in a scrimmage setting for a defense? Uh, <laughs> a little bit, I say, because you know we're we come from you know a more run heavy offense to now they're throwing the ball all the time. But you know you kind of get used to it because. I think it was, we had six practices before that. So you kind of see, you kind of pick up on things that they're doing, you know, to be able to have film on that, you know, have film on their, his year from last year of Western Carolina, you know, it's very helpful. You know, I've been watching that to try to pick up on some things. What have you picked up on from that offense? I really like his, uh, their motions. He does a lot of motions to try to, you know, mess us up. And then also the uh, deep flop. You know what I'm saying? If the, the running back scores his shoulders up, he's gone. But if he's just doing this, it's just a flop. That's something we got to pick up on. Especially with a lot of the screens. Anything else for Braylon? Yeah, Braylon, you, you guys had, um, there's about like eight defensive guys in your recruiting class last year. And there's like the three linebackers you guys all played last year. We hear a lot about Jesse and Cruz. Do you, do you kind of have a feeling that that class is creating kind of a foundation? You know what I mean? I mean, you're all still young guys, but it seems like you're all really in the mix for like two deep and, and starting jobs. Oh yeah, definitely. We're, we're gonna turn we're gonna turn Pittsburgh around. We're gonna you know, we're gonna bring ACC to this. Uh, I, I believe our group is like one of the best recruiting groups that to come to Pitt, and I believe that we're gonna bring ACC. So, Bryson, right, based on the motions and everything that you mentioned with this new offense, how do you feel the communication is on the defensive side as a unit? Uh, I believe we're doing very well. You know. We're, we're calling things out before it even happens, you know? So like, that's also a big thing. So we're not trying to rush the communication. Like if we see running back's eyes, you know, even linemen, you know what I'm saying? We're already calling it out before it's happened so that we're not rush, rushing communication and people are getting confused. We're all locked in before it even happens. Thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Thank you guys. Thanks, we'll open up for questions. Cruz, are things coming a little easier to you this year after being in the mix last year. Being uh, yeah, things are coming out a lot easier. I've been in uh, a lot more film, getting in with the co Coach Corey and uh, older guys and stuff like that, so it's been a lot easier. Does it allow you to be a little bit more aggressive in you know, making some of the plays that you want to make, whether it's interceptions, big hits in practice? Yeah, it definitely is. I'm not, not thinking as much. Like I'm out there just playing football like how I used to, so I feel good to get to that level. Do you work more boundary or, or field? Where you uh, I'm working more boundary right now. Do you like but that? I'd be flip-flopping, so. Do you, do you like how that position? It seems like that's a more yeah, sort more of physical, physical position. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. What kind of freedom do you have in that position? Uh, just like I'm more of a free player. I just get to play my game. Like this free player, like I still value. That's what I used to play. Like just playing my game, just being a free player. So coming here and being able to do that, I feel good. We've got a lot of veterans coming back instead of safety. You know, Juwan, Donovan, guys who played. I mean, played with them last year. What have they been like to help you think faster in the game? Uh, we had a lot of film going on during the off season. Like we was all together all the time. So it was we was going over film of the past season, 2021 when they won the ACC. So it was like it was easier. You mentioned playing your game and, and being a free player, but what kind of defines your game? What do you think makes you as a player? I feel like physicality. Like that's that's what I am. That's what how I play since I was young. If you, how, I think you got here last like June. How, how much weight have you gained since? You uh, I gained like 10 pounds. What do you weigh now? I'm 195. How did you like to play a physical game? Did that make the transition from high school a bit easier for you? Yeah, definitely. Still Valley is rooted off physicality. So I feel like coming here, and I know Pitt been a physical team last year. We didn't really show it that much, but this year we definitely are. Chris, what did you like out of the scrimmage? What, what did you like for the defense? Uh, we just played fast, no thinking. Just playing fast, no thinking. Office did good too, though. So. Is that a credit to all the film study? Like you guys kind of know what's coming and you're, mm -hmm. you're able to just react? Group. But you're also facing like a brand new offense, right? You're facing, you know, those guys are still learning it. They have all their tempo and stuff like that. Has it been sort of a different challenge this spring than maybe what you did last fall? Uh, it's definitely a challenge. I feel like we got, we uh, began a lot more film. We come in earlier. Some of the DBs would come in earlier to get more film to know like when in motion, what they're going to do when they motion to this set. So it's been easier. Yeah. What's well, been a, one of the skills that you've noticed is just a lot better? Maybe not necessarily just the processing, but like, you know, whether it's man coverage or how you fit a certain fit a certain you know assignment it was something that you're like, hey, this is a lot better than what I was doing this last year. I feel like my eyes got better, like uh, dissecting things better, uh, reading off players better. So I feel like it had been better for me. Anything else for Chris? Chris, I mean, Jesse Anderson getting a lot of praise, and that's dynamite. Mm -hmm. Do you see about his game? How 
Uh, that's my dog. I feel like we play off each other very well. I feel like me and him, we're going to have a, a great future together. Like me and him, we complement each other's games well. And he had a pick six and a forced fumble uh, in the scrimmage, so he did good. You have a forced fumble? Yeah, I had a forced fumble. There was, I mean, there was you and him at safety. There's the three linebackers who all came in in your class too, right? They all played last year. There's Isaiah Neal up front. Do you feel like you guys are forming sort of a? Yeah, we're definitely forming a connection. I feel like when I watch film, I feel like we just see us like just flying around making plays. So it feel good to see that people from my class doing that. You guys have like rotation with four guys who play safety right now between you, Jesse, Javon, Don, Don, Donovan. What's that been like? Just the highlight the rotation and how you guys keep that up between each other. With them being starters, and you guys being the younger guys learning, uh, it's been good. Just a lot of communication. Like we all talk to each other, we all watch film together, we all hang out together. So it's been easy. Anything else? All good. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. <clears throat> open up the questions. Ryan, Pat um, said you've been more vocal this spring. Are you, is that something you've set out to do, or what does that look like? You don't seem like a real loud guy. Yeah. Uh, on the field, it changes. You know, I have to just, you have to be confident out there, especially as I've gotten older. You have to show, especially for the young guys, that you're confident, you know what you're doing, and like, uh, just like show that you're excited. I've been trying to you know, show myself a little more, yeah. How much of an adjustment has the new tempo been to this offense, and how do you feel like you guys picked up on that in this past scrimmage? Um, we prepared for it. Once we saw that Coach Bell came in, Coach Stack did a great job getting us prepared the best he could. Obviously, it's a little different. It's hard to, you know, you can do the best you can to prepare for football, but there's nothing like a football conditioning. So like th those first two practices, you're like, all right, yeah, but you know, then you kind of get into it and it's been fine ever since then. What kind of adjustments did Coach Stack have to make to that regiment? Uh, just really just, we knew the plan of what we wanted to do. We want to run plays fast. We want to get to the ball fast. So we shortened down our break a little bit in between each rep because we're trying to stimulate what we're going to be doing in actual practice. So we were trying to hammer a lot of reps fast. Did you feel like the offense learned anything or learned anything about yourselves or you know, uh, from that scrimmage? <clears throat> yeah, we uh, we learned what we can do if we play the, the game, you know, safe like the right way. When we actually do what we're taught, you know, it looks great. Um, our offense looks really good when we play it right. What do you feel like can be different about this year's run game as far as how you guys are able to establish the run, especially when you guys are playing up tempo? I think being able to establish both run and pass will open up the run game. If you're not able to pass the ball and everyone can just stack the box, you know, it's hard to run the ball against nine people when you only have six people blocking. So um, I think being able to open up the pass a little bit is definitely going to open up, you know, make the defense spread out so we'll be able to get better matchups in the run. I know the defense won the scrimmage, but do you feel like you guys made progress as an offense? For sure, for sure. I think. You get progress every time you get to go out on the field, especially when you're learning something new. Uh, every time we get to step out there, we're getting better, we're learning more. So the more we learn, the faster we'll be able to play, and the better we'll be. Ryan, it seems like with this offense, you can dictate terms. Like, is that something you really like, the aggression that, and as part of that speed that you guys are learning? Yeah, it's being able to catch the defense off guard, not letting them get set up, and you kind of just get the tee off on them. It helps, it helps out a lot, especially in the run. So. Because you uh, had to prepare for an up-tempo offense, do you feel the conditioning that this winter was an uptick in the conditioning and you're in better shape today than maybe with this time last year? Yeah, for sure. I feel a lot better than I did last year. Um, I felt fine last year, but you know, having to be able to move a little more, I definitely feel like, I don't know, like a little lighter maybe. I don't know. So mobility is important for, for you in this offense? Yeah. Did you, did you guys have to keep up the weight that you guys were, were at last year, or is it like – like, do you have to like kind of keep the, the size while improving in that, or is that something you guys are you guys are more so so focused on the athleticism part? Um, well, I know some of us got together. We wanted to lose some weight. I felt like we were playing a little heavy last year, <laughs> so uh, a couple of us got together, and you know we lost. We're losing some weight. So, Jeremy uh, Darbo has a couple years of experience with this offense. How much does it help to have your O line coach kind of knows what he's not learning at the same time you guys are? That's very important to me. Uh, I felt like when Sig came in and we were all learning together, it was, you know, times were like, all right, we kind of like, we're like, we don't know what we're doing. So now we have a coach that knows, he's been with the uh, coordinator for a couple of years. So if things are a little shaky, he knows what we're doing so he can you know, smooth it out for us. 
come back and saw the student pro day tomorrow. Uh, just curious, what kind of a mentor has he been to you? And you excited to see him give it a go tomorrow? Yeah, I'm excited for Matt and Cradle. Uh, yeah, but, and Cradle. You know, I'm living with Matt. You know, he's been a big mentor with me. Uh, he just came back, so having him at the house again has been sweet. But you know, he kind of took me under the under his wing when I got here, so he's been a big help to where I'm at now. For Matt to go through rehab this last, you know several months here, right? how tough was that for him from your perspective and how much has he grown from that? Think? Uh, I think what I hear a lot from most people is they don't realize how much they miss the game until they can't play it. So I think that's what really, like him not being able to play after you know being hurt, like he just, he misses being able to play football and he'll be ready to go, so. Anything else for Ryan? Ryan, how is Brexit from this last year? You guys Brant, Brant is going to be really good. He's uh, he's really stepped up as a leader role. Uh, you know, coming in, he's kind of someone I looked up to because when I came on my visits, he was the guy I was with. So uh, he's just he's really stepped up as a leader. He's been more vocal and just he's he's working really hard for this year. He'll, he'll, he'll be really good. Good. Thank you, Ryan. Thank, Thank you, Ryan. Here goes this year different for you. You know, you're getting more of a role this year. Yeah, I believe so. I, I do believe I have more of a role this year and just taking on the responsibility of being the older guy and knowing what to do when I get out there. So I definitely feel like I have a bigger role this year. Coach Lamar said you were winning a lot of the sprints you know, at a lot of the earlier practices. Do you, you say you're the fastest in the running back group right now, or is there someone else that's <coughs> kind of keeping up with you all the time? Um, out of the fastest running backs, I have to say it's me and uh, Desmond Reed, uh, the transfer. But I feel like a lot of my speed just came from playing with the guys down at LSU. So. I know you, you played some running back at the end of that season, but did it take you a while to fully kind of feel like a running back again, you know what I mean, to, to sort of truly kind of embrace yes. that that's your position? So, I mean, it wasn't until, I want to say, last year's fall camp where I finally felt like I was a true running back. Uh, during the spring last year, I was, I was still trying to adjust to playing a new position, but Right now, I feel great. I feel real confident in myself, the way I'm running the ball. And there's always small things I got to work on so to better my game. But other than that, I just feel real comfortable with the position right now. So Derek, you get comfortable being running back again and then the system completely changes. How would you find this system fitting your game? Um, it fits my game perfectly, especially coming from high school. I came from the spread type of offense. So with this type of offense, it allows me to get into space, allows me to use my speed, be more elusive in space. and great plays and I'm a bigger guy so uh, running up the middle is not really my, my forte. <laughs> what kind of goals did your offense have going into Saturday scrimmage? Do you feel like you accomplished those even though I don't know the defense won but even though the defense won? Um, goals to our goals really was to play fast and score we definitely scored we were playing fast but it wasn't enough of course they won so we got to get them back. Is it kind of like if you're going to make mistakes, make them really fast. Is that like a mantra for these coaches? Definitely. I mean, for these coaches, they just want to see everyone play fast, play confident. That's the biggest thing. They all knew. Everybody's new. So, for like I tell the young guys, just go out there, play fast, play confident. Don't go out there thinking. Because if you're out there thinking, you're, up there just, you're just going to mess up. And they don't want to see that. They want to see guys that are out there having fun, playing the game that they love, and doing what they need to do to help the team win. So. Is that also for you as well? I mean, you go down to LSU, you switch positions. Now you feel, you feel comfortable in a system and a position where maybe the game's more fun now or you're enjoying it more than you did? I mean, me personally, so I'm an athlete. I always tell myself I'm an athlete. So you can put me anywhere on the field and I'll be able to get the job done. But just playing offense right now is just clicking very well for me. I mean, even if I was to go to defense, it would click well for me. I can play anywhere. So the plan right now, offense, it's just everything's clicking well. My coach. He harps on us, he's on us every day. Uh, he takes care of us, he takes real good care of us actually. And he, he's like our, um, I look at Coach Lamar as a mentor, so he, he helps out a lot. He was telling us no block, no rock. Definitely, no block and no rock, no rock. That's, I mean, that's simple, really. Supporting that for running backs, pass protect. And that's everywhere. If you want to play anywhere, you gotta, you gotta know how to pass protect. So. There's an up-tempo aspect to the offense, obviously. But is there also more speed on the field as far as guys making plays? Yes, 100%. I mean, it's still the same guys from last year, a couple new guys. But other than that, 
with this offense, it just allows us to play our game. It allows us, we're not stagnant, really. We're all over, we're moving, constantly moving. So just playing fast, playing, playing smart, we're going to score a lot of points this year. Derek, how have the quarterbacks adjusted? Quarterbacks are just well, they're just real good, honestly. Um, and right now, it's important for us to not get in our air, you know, get frustrated with them because just like us, I mean, they're learning the same thing as well. Even if they're learning twice, three times as more as much as we're learning. So for them to just catch on very quickly, they're learning, they're learning fast. So I'm excited for them. Anything else? Derek, I'm curious because a couple of your former teammates are projecting top 10 picks in the NFL draft with Malik and Jaden. Just curious to hear your thoughts on those two guys going in and, and how early they can get drafted. What do you? What makes you think Malik can translate that easily to the NFL? Um, first of all, I'm very, I'm very excited for the boys. Very blessed for the boys. And for all them guys to translate into the NFL, I'm going to translate very well. I feel like LSU prepared them, prepared them well. SEC prepared them well, and they're going to do good. It's, it's kind of a follow of what makes Malik stand out as a receiver. Malik, Malik is most hated. Um, he just, he just got that dog in him. Honestly, that's what I like about this game. That's what I told him, told him too. And like, I just like how you got that dog in him. He never backs down from the challenge. So. Okay. Thank you, Derek. Thank Thanks, you. sir.